it's it's definitely tough because yeah. Krom has so many good anti airs to catch everything that Fox can land with, pretty much. Although Thass has played so many matches against Mickle, Winter, yeah. Kyle, Sword, probably, and now he's got this one. Oh, and uh, Darkholm from Kentucky. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> no, that's a horrendous image. <laughs> that's that's horrendous. All right. Oh wow, Biggie. For the audio listeners, Biggie we just saw a really awful out of the Buzz Lightyear. Yes. Anyway, speaking of, oh no no no. Okay. No no. It's no fine. PS2. I would not have seen that one coming. <laughs> anyway. Now, there's a lot of ways that Fox can work around, uh, like, the high recovery and coming back down with Aether. Like, he can parry it into Shine, which is my favorite way to, to do it. And you can also parry it into Down Smash, or you can Up Smash, like, him as he's coming back down to stop it. So there's a lot that Flask can do, and he knows what he has to do, although Biggie Cheese has to be prepared for this matchup, too. So. What do you think the Don Cheadle word of the day is? Omen. <laughs> okay. I was going to say Cornucopia, but that's fine. Well, both are very spooky words, I would yes. say. Cornucopia is a Thanksgiving word. <laughs> I mean, given the right season. Yeah, I guess. All right. All right, Nair. Yeah, that Thass knows, really, you should not go off stage because if he lands that Nair, he's, it's probably going to get armored by Uppy. But yep. the up tilt is going to come out. Now, up tilt is a move with really funky, like, knockback angles. Definitely. So I, I don't even know how to DI that move, let's be real. Oh, Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. Oh, wow. Do you see the reaction time on, yeah, like... Yeah, what, what was that? Yeah. Like, I remember Jin, like, forward tilted with Mithra on Thass' shield, and he immediately up smashed it out of shield. Like, nothing is safe it's on shield Fox against Thass. It's the instinct. Yeah. Like, if you go for anything on shield, be prepared to die, because, like, Thass knows what to do. The pressures of this matchup turned him into a diamond. I, I've noticed a lot, even when I was playing against uh, Biggie, that he really seems to like to do neutral B... When that people was are trying to recover on the stage. I'm, I'm gonna really be not honest. Sure why. That air dodge killed fast. Like oh, yeah. that air dodge, he could have just. Not smart. If he took the hit of the uppy, he would have lived that. Exactly. Like, that was Set himself up for failure on that one. How does Biggie manage to make all the characters he uses at these ales look like they've been his main since the beginning of the game? Genuinely, it's it's a mystery. <laughs> his his crop looks so like actually clean right now. Like, no choice made. Yeah, no choice made. If it shield poked though, God, <laughs> I, I would have, I would have been upset on Thass's behalf. Like that would have been so sad. But Biggie Cheese, you know, I, I gotta say, out of all the players in Cincy, he's definitely, like, maybe the most popular to watch, just because... Wait, because it's just a, for the sake of variety, yeah, even. Yeah, he does something sick with every character. Even He made me Gunner look cool. Like, come on. <laughs> now, God help us, like, if he, just, if he like, went through a random generator to figure out what character he was using this week, and he got Krom, like, we were saying, God help us when he gets a top tier, and he plays a top well, tier for a week. Well, we got our wish. Yeah. And... But Thass did get that second stock. Oh no. Why? Oh no. oh my god. If Thass got up a little bit earlier, that would have he might have actually just gotten hit by the neutral at that point. And there's gonna be the dash attack from Thass and the up to <sighs> Yeah, yeah, one jab, nice jab at ledge will do it from Biggie, but mixes up by coming onto the stage this time. Interesting. Oh, I oh, like no what he mistake. Was, yeah. I like what he was going for though. But Chrom up smash is kind of terror bad, so. <laughs> uh back throw? What the? Oh, okay, uh, that's mind. it. Yeah. Weird options coming out from Biggie, but I uh, I like this crumb right now. I'm actually. They, I think the interesting here thing is you don't see a, a lot of Jer here in this situation. Yeah, there's not many Jer's. Interesting. And, yeah, because like he's been getting the um, he's been getting fast like percents where I think it might be too high of a percent. Well, to but get even Jer. then, he's not really going for it. He, yeah, I mean. Uh, to be tr to be fair, I don't know how much he's practiced this character, and uh, I don't know if he's labbed that out because you got to get used to Jer, because um, it's really easy if they di in or don't di, just because y all you have to do is turn around. You don't have to dash, mm -hmm. but like it's actually pretty hard to get down, especially if you're Roy, just because you have to learn how to get it with the sweet spot and stuff. Like, but he's making this character look clean, and I love the black gold. Like, I love that. Uh, I love that color yeah, on Crumb a lot. Nice. Yeah. Although I'm I'm quite partial to the white Crumb personally. It, uh, because I really like that ult on Marth, and I, I think they both look really nice. Did he, did he do it at Bearcat Clash? Because, I don't think so. Yeah, because he was, uh, he played Simon against me, and I, I saw, I didn't, I don't think I saw any other characters that day, so. Yeah, but nonetheless, he's still clean in house, even if, uh, even without the Simon. Although, I feel like that would be a hard matchup for, uh, for Simon and against Fox. 
Now, Thass, Thass is trying to figure out what's the best way to eliminate these stocks at the ledge because there's so much you can do, but, like, Biggie's working around all the stuff that Thass is trying to do so far. And that dare did not connect all the hits. Ooh, okay. Like, even if he's missing these dares, he's knowing what to do, like, to react to the defensive options from Thass because Thass is... Ooh. Shit. Yeah. Anyway. Into the arms. <laughs> hey, that's me. <laughs> anyway. Now, Thass, like I mentioned, you can get the 0 to 50s with Thass are, like, so consistent. And, like, r right there, that's going to be another one. So that's 0 to 75. He has not got touched yet. And, yeah, he's just electing to stay away from the upbeat because he knows if he messes up, he's probably going to die. And Biggie Chisel. Yeah, it's not worth it. Yeah. Like, the, the, <gasps> the payoff you can get from it is just simply not worth it. Yo. And, uh, yeah, and up to, oh, we'll, we'll probably do it right now, but, I mean, yeah, there we go. Ooh. Nice. I love the little weight nice bounce he did beside me. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Evo, uh, main upset Darkshad, 2-1, beating both the Ken and the Shulk. So, uh, probably one of the biggest upsets in AL history right there. And that's going to be a fourth throw from Biggie. He's, if he can get one of these good juggles, like right here, he got two up airs and a grab. But that's a good get off me option with that forward tilt. Yeah, nice roll, spot. yeah. You, you see the top foxes, like, it doesn't seem like any tech option is safe against certain foxes, especially, like, light. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, Thass is, he's putting on the pressure uh, regardless of whether or not he's taking the stock yet. Now, Biggie's just electing to get these forward throws. I mean, like... I mean, it's percent, but, like... He can't really, get any combos off You're not setting yourself down. up for anything. Yeah, and that's going to be a backer from Thass. Looking like he's been figuring out this matchup on, uh, like, in real time. Wow. Wow. Looking like Game & Watch. She Ooh! Ooh! Okay. Double, All double. right. I got a little hype for that. That was pretty sick. All right. But Thass, you know, he's keeping it up with these uppers. And, yeah, Biggie, Biggie's really good at, like, just kind of backing off when he knows that there's so much pressure coming in from Thass. Uh, just like a bad situation to be crowned. Like, regain his composure. Now, if he gets a Nair, that could be, like, another 40% for Biggie right now. Or that. Sets him up on the platform. Up airs. Thass is so good at jumping away out of these at the perfect timings. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, rolls away again. Oh, oh wow. my god. What really the back heck air? was that? Oh, my yeah, he gosh. Died. That was such a weird angle. Yeah, I'm not... so weird. Yeah. What? It looked like he was on... I thought he was going for drill, weirdly enough. Yeah, then. it looked like he was on the other side, too. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure what that was, but... Yeah, we're talking going one now. Yeah. So, unless Biggie is really just using all Chrome today... We're probably, uh, we might see a character switch. Possibly. But he doesn't usually switch off at AL. Yeah, so, usually like, he's pretty dedicated to the role here. The only, quote, switching off he does is when he's playing random. <laughs> so. <laughs> Which is funny. It's like, he goes random for game one, and then in between games, he's like, I'm switching it up. And then he just goes back to random. I mean, he's not wrong. My favorite thing to do is tell my opponent I'm switching it up and then just switch my alt instead of my character. <laughs> well, sometimes that's all you need to unlock. Yeah. I I'm switching up. Default game and watch instead. But I mean, that's anyway. what made you go sickle mode last time you played. <laughs> Going sickle mode, yeah. But anyway, here we go. Game three, and uh, once again, like I don't think Fast was ready for that. That's not something that Crumbs usually go for because the payoff is super good. But if he misses, the payoff is uh, well. The thing is, like, if it works for Ike, it works for Crom, really. It's true. Just, it's just and Crom's is damage faster, is so slightly slower. So. Yeah, Crom's is a little bit faster, so and it's got that armor on the startup. So, ooh, oh, no, this that's is not a fun situation. Yeah, this is. Oh, oh that. Yeah, if, that, the, if that edge trump happened, yeah. then Crom Biggie would be probably done. would have double jumped right before that bear, too, which would have made it really scary for th uh, for Biggie. But the backer coming in. Ooh. Good idea, but just missed it. He's evading all the kill moves, but he's not getting his own hits. Oh, man, the weak at a dash deck set up so well there. Oh, the, the two of them are talking. I, I can tell. Like, they're they're having a good time. Another thing, another reason why people like Biggie so much and Thass. They're just kind of the homies. 46% off of one conversion. Yup. And, wow, he's keeping it up right now. Thass is determined to get to winner semis. He's like, that first game was a fluke. I'm not letting. I'm. I'm letting that uh, game. Oh, oh my god, the tech chase! The tech chase with the side B, looking like Falco out here, and up throw. I like these B reverses. Like, he he kind of comes down with Crom like yeah. a snake would. Wow. Oh man, this game. You can't looking, escape. It's kind of looking almost open and shut, but I don't want to say that. I mean, yeah, Thass just... This is a really rough start. I had mentioned that Thass knows what to do against Krom, and, like, wh what is it about Biggie's Krom that sets him apart from the other ones I've seen? Well, first of all, he's a little bit more liberal with his use of any of the special moves, but, like... Well, that and also because it's not really, like, a character he plays a lot. It's going to be a little bit more unpredictable. True. But. Oh, the parry was so good from Thass. And... Is the dream still... Ooh! 
The weak hit or the Gross. late hit, I guess. Yeah, that was a little disgusting. Oh, okay. World away, but uh, no, still no, got that. That is, weak hit on dash attack really yeah. does pop too you fast, up. Too fast, too furious. Nasty. Uh, and the down air into another, but oh, it's not going to be no. too combo. You have to be a floaty oh, for that to work. Oh, shine, too. Yeah. Now, these percents, I feel like it could be getting down throws, but, like, I don't know. I mean, you don't want to back throw because you don't even get stage control from because of the angle it sends at. Ooh, that was so was good. Scoop? And high recovery. Yep, I knew it was coming. I honestly didn't know if he had his double jump, but he used it perfectly there. Oh, I like the uh, weight, but, like... Let, give him a little too much space. Yeah, Fox got down too fast for Biggie to be able to react in time to that. Oh. Now, as we've seen, like... I have oh. seen... I've seen Crumb up E just kill at ledge at zero. So if he can get the stock, that's a possibility. But I don't think Thass is just going to... Yeah. Oh. I don't think Thass is going to let him try oh. it, so... Yeah, that's a 2-1. That's making the comeback after that first game, really turning it around in his favor super hard there. And I might be up next against main, maybe? Do you want me on stream next against main? No? Okay. A simple nod of a no from Momsa, because cause next we're getting, I think, Goman versus... Yeah, let me take a, take a peek. Goman versus... Somebody. Somebody to love. Go Man versus Master Mario. Okay, here we go. Oh, boy. Now, Master played Dubos on stream earlier, and I was pretty impressed by how Dubos did. But, um, obviously, you know, second seed of this tournament. He is known in the U.S. as one of the best Marios for a reason. Although, Go Man, on a good day, he could make any upset happen like this. Like, um, one of those players that I still haven't taken a set off personally. Um, his Joker is just really, really solid. And I thought I was really good at that matchup. And yeah. then I played against Goman. I was like, first of all, Sideways Gun is broken against Game & Watch. Disgusting. Yeah. Like, you it's, have it to... It shuts down so much. Yeah. Like, when I played against the Cat's Joker uh, in a money match at Riptide, that's basically, like, what the game plan is against Game & Watch. Well, like, because the thing is, like, it, it, you can't do much <coughs> against that in Game & Watch. You don't have a, a good amount of, like, really good vertical moves other than back air. And even then, because it's such a big disjoint, it shuts it down. And I don't... And it's really hard to perfectly... Or to space it properly on Game & Watch without getting punished. Exactly. Like, with Arsene, much easier. But, like, obviously, you're not going to have that all the time. So, 